Hi, my name is Kim from 81 Vintage and today I'm going to show you how you can turn this old bucket into a vintage inspired fire bucket. Now, I bought these buckets a couple of years ago. I bought them from Home and Bargain and I use them in the garden as planters. Now, when we've moved, I've decided to go for a slightly different theme. So instead of just getting rid of them, I'm gonna upcycle them and I'm gonna sell them in my shop space. Okay, so first things I'm going to do is apply a coat of matte black enamel based paint. This is an oil paint. I get it from Poundland. It sticks really, really nicely um, to any type of surface. Um, and I just apply it on really roughly and then I will even it, even it out. Now you could do a similar sort of thing with a chalk paint. Okay, so this is now all dry and I'm ready to paint it. So I am going to be using this called Flame and it's just antique looking red paint and it's got bits and pieces in it because I've left it in the garage without a lid on. It's gone nice and thick and there we have it. Okay, so I've painted all of my buckets now. I've got six of them in total. I did two coats of red paint. So what I've also done is printed out my fire template. It's on A4 paper. I've just designed it and printed it off and just printed it off as an outline. Now I'm going to rip off the only section that I need, which is the top. And then I'm going to use carbon paper to transfer this to the bucket. So carbon paper comes in lots of different colours and I found that using the white um, works really well. Put the carbon paper underneath, pop the design on the top and then I'm going to secure it in place with some double sided sticky tape. You don't have to use double sided sticky tape, this is just quite low tack. And then I'm going to use a ballpoint pen and I'm just going to draw around the lines of the, the, the word, basically. Okay, so all six have got the wording transferred onto them. Um, depending on sort of the, the angle of it, the, the wording will curve up. You can adjust it if you really care about it, but I don't. I just think when it's all distressed and it's all one piece, it will just add as part of the charm. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, the paper tends to last for sort of two or three, um, so I usually print off multiples and to be honest, by the time you've done two or three on the same one, you tend to lose track of what lines you've already been over um, and you don't want to be lifting it up and taking it down every two minutes because you'll just end up wonking your, wonking your word. Um, now it's, I'm ready to paint the words in, so these are going to be hand painted. It sounds tricky but actually it's very straightforward. Um, so I have bought these uh, really tiny paint brushes they are treble zero and I get them on eBay um, you can get a pack of 10 or 12 for a few pounds I'm using this Revel um, it's called enamel paint it's a small modeling paint um, and it's in a satin white pretty easy to get hold of you can use any type of white paint the only thing I would say is make sure it's a good quality one because you only want to be painting this once. You don't want to have to do multiple coats because doing multiple coats will just take any of the fun out of it. And the one thing you want to do is make sure that your brush gets quite a decent amount of paint run through it. So don't just sort of put a little bit on and then um, try and paint the word. You want the brush to really be soaked through. So to paint is pretty straightforward. What I tend to do is just do all of the straight lines first. I'm just looking for sort of vintage hand painted type finish so it doesn't matter if it's not you know machine made quality. If you don't have a steady hand when you start the more you do the, hand, the steady hand will come. Once you've outlined it, fill it back in. Okay, so I have painted all six of them now. Each one takes about less than 10 minutes to paint, so it's not a really long time consuming process. 
Now to clean your brush, um, these brushes actually do clean out quite well. So because they're so small, they're very easy to clean and you can reuse them. Just get yourself a little bottle of white spirit, clean that off on the inside of the lid or the inside of the bottle. Then when you're finished, just wipe it off. So now you can distress them if you want to distress your piece, you absolutely can. And all I'm going to do is use uh, a mixture of sandpaper and also wet distressing. So I haven't distressed it very much actually, it's pretty much as it was, but um, that's as much as I'm going to do on it. So I'm going to do that to all six and then we're going to seal them. So now it's time to seal them. I'm going to be using this Yacht Varnish, which I get from Poundland. It's an oil-based product and it's just great for this type of uh, project because it gives a shiny finish to the point where it looks antique. So it really does make the piece look as if it's from that sort of time period. So I'm just applying it with a cheap chip brush um, and this does go on quite smoothly and levels off quite nicely. The drying time on it is quite long, so it will take overnight for it to dry. And this is it finished. The white paint wasn't quite dry, so the varnish did smear it a little bit, but to me that just makes it look that little bit older. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for lots more quirky pieces of home.